everybody, and welcome back to episode 92 of Sinaru Kana. Finally! I've been bugging Claire all week to record with me. <laughs> it's been a week since I last got to play, and I'm about as anxious as you guys are to find out what's happening next. Although, lucky for you guys, you only have to wait a day. <laughs> well, lucky for you, uh, you had enough episodes recorded. Oh, yeah, I still haven't posted my backlog. Uh, I, like, just posted the first episode of getting into this chapter. <laughs> so, yeah, I'm on, like, what am I on here? Yeah, I just posted 76, and we're on 92. <laughs> yeah. So I'm in, I'm in no danger of catching up to where we're at, uh, we're on 92. Is that what you said? Yes, that's what I said. Because a few seconds ago you said 82. No, I said 92. Anyway, well, people, get, it, people like, get irritated if we do too much talking before starting the episode, so <laughs> they're starting yeah, the game. Started. Huh? Or at least one person did. I got a rather nasty comment about that back in like episode 20 or something. To yeah, be fair, well, we did. Help. For to yeah. be fair, we did talk for like four minutes before actually start opening the game. <laughs> I still think one of these days we're going to do a let's play, and the entire thing will just be us talking and no actual gameplay. Only why I'd play Slender Bay. And I cut you off with the screen resolution change. <laughs> Only why I'd play Slender Bay. Just talk about stuff and not actually play it. Alright, so... Is our... Are we going to be able to avoid this disaster? Actually, one thing I wanted to do before I actually found that out... Uh, is, if you guys remember, I sure do. I totally forgot to look at, a, 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 at uh, Evolia's profile and everything. So we're going to load that one and check her out before continuing. I mean, I looked, I, looked, I looked at her skills, but I didn't look at her description and spirit and all that. Well, it can be interesting stuff. Yeah. yeah, I like doing that. I usually do that before looking at skills. It's like skills are the last thing I use. Look at. Alright, so... Sixth rank sword thunderbolt. Okay. Spirit Gims. The graceful world. A leader of the Lightbringers and bearer of the Eternity Sword Thunderbolt. She dresses in a very gaudy fashion and has destroyed countless branch worlds with her minion army. She prefers to work in the shadows. Often, branch worlds do not even realize they are in danger until their elemental corridors have been cut off and it's too late to stop her. Her true objectives are a well-guarded secret, but many believe that she's acting at the behest of others more powerful than her. Of course she is, because she is nowhere near strong enough to be a final boss in this game. <laughs> And yet she's the leader of the Lightbringers. <laughs> well, the Lightbringers could be like a mercenary guild or something that some other organization contracted to accomplish some goal. I mean, we really <laughs> haven't gotten a real explanation of what the Lightbringers are. Evil? Other than that, I think that's pretty much been established. But again, if they're a mercenary guild, good and evil doesn't really mean much to mercenaries. They do whatever they're paid to do. But are they good at it? It remains only speculation and conjecture. Conject conjecture. Conjecture? <laughs> Weird word. Anyway. Evolia wears Thunderbolt as bracelets, enabling her to create projectiles out of her destructive out of destructive mana and hurl them at her foes, or create shields in front of her for protection. Right. 
Gims the Golem. Oh, that's the creature that, that or that's the thing that it showed when she did that really neat it looking attack of hers. I don't remember what it's called, Ice Buster or something. Mm-hmm. Who are you gonna call? <laughs> Ice Busters! <laughs> Canadian company. Guardian Spirit of Thunderbolt and Evolius partner, a golem protected by such impenetrable armor that the moniker of Fortress is fitting. Lacks mobility, but is powerful on attack and defense. He cannot speak, but he has sworn to serve Evolia forever. Like Satsuki oh. Sharon, he has a very noble spirit and will to fight with all his strength to keep any harm from befalling his master. If Evolia commands it, he will unleash his full power and annihilate everything around them in a massive torrent of light. Which I guess that's what that attack was. <laughs> well, you had read this when you know. <laughs> when you for not doing it. All right. Ah, damn it! I can't. Again, this really needs a load option from within the game. Anyway. No, well, they don't expect you to just pop in on the battle screen to check up on stats. <laughs> Stuff. I expect you to pop into the battle to actually battle. Well, like I said, I forgot to check check out her stuff Back info out. last time, and uh, been kind of wondering about it. And I'm sure anybody watching would probably wonder about it too, and be like, "Ah, why did you for not look at her stuff?" It's like, "Yep." <laughs> I have her stuff on full display. Ah. So, with that out of the way, let's continue where we left off. Right, we're all these. I thought so. They didn't get their hands on this one. Can you do it? I don't even know what it is. Oh, right oh. off the bat, an awesome screenshot. Yes. Are you going to see this? Of course you are. Open oh, screen. <laughs> Yu-Gi-Oh card. Huh? It looks like a Yu-Gi-Oh card. <laughs> Some spicy kite monster. Music size too. Kind of catchy. She's already typing before I even finish asking. All the words on the screen are there for only a moment before they're replaced by more. There's no way a regular human can follow what's happening on that screen. Naya watches it all and adds more as it goes flying past. <laughs> Nozomu, I'm going to connect my mind to this terminal. I can reach the mainframe, but my access to it is still being blocked by security. This firewall is created by the geniuses of the tactic. Uh, I need to take it without the admin codes to control the system. It will be extraordinarily difficult. Okay, done! <laughs> I see. <laughs> well, I mean, all I can do is cheer you on. <laughs> You don't need to be here to do that. I can handle this myself. Everyone else should get away from the tower. You're enough? I don't buy it. Well, 
Thanks to you, my eyes are open. As you said, I will fight to the very end. I think back to when I was yelling at her earlier. Back then, she just sat there. But now, she feels the same as me. She's not going to give up on protecting the people important to her. But I don't know whether or not I can do it. If I can't, you'll be caught in this. I cannot allow that. Don't worry about that. I want to be here. You'll make the people waiting for you sad. As long as you keep the tower from falling, there's no problem. There's a minimal chance this will work. Oh, so it's guaranteed. I believe in you. How can you believe in someone you've just met so easily? I don't know. I just do. <laughs> what? You're risking your life on just that? We're running out of time. Yeah, why don't you get that guy out of there and stop distracting her? <laughs> Expect a lecture when we get back. If we get back. Didn't she just say you believed in me? Quit wasting time! Go on already! Where'd you find this arrogance? I don't need to hear it from you! Naya puts on some kind of visor and settles herself. Crystals appear on both sides of her. I'll allow you to see me off, but if you're still here when I get back, be ready for what's going to happen. Yeah. She puts her hands on the crystals. Light flows into her fingertips and through her entire body. The text on the screen changes to some other kind of format, and moves even faster. Naya's face goes completely stiff. Hmm... Is she connected already? Her hands are on the crystals, and her eyes are closed. She doesn't react to my voice, either. I guess she's connected to the system now. I watch the torrent of words going across the screen for a few minutes and wish her luck. We're counting on you. She doesn't even budge, just like a doll. Ah, oh, those kids with them fancy iPods and the MP3s. I sense someone outside the room. It's not Nozomi, or the others, though. It's something else entirely. There was still oh. some left? Uh. I clench Aurora tight. Be careful. There's a lot. Then it is them. They sniffed us out in here? Naya's completely defenseless. If they attack her, it won't even be a fight, just an execution. Probably something Nizomo can do. She must not have realized they were this close, either. Looks like it's up to me! Are you sure? There's a lot of them. If you're by yourself... I think Nozomu can plow through pretty much anything at this point. But what if it's Shadow Nozomu? Stop, Reimei. What am I supposed to do? Go call for help? They'll kill her! From over there, I thought he was going to be just 
I'm just worried about you. She slumps a little. I guess my tone was too harsh. I've got to deal with them by myself. That's why I came anyway. I have to protect her. Alright, don't say anything else. Do what you want. Sorry for dragging you into this. <laughs> My has become rather reckless. Remember when I had to go to you to action. I do feel like I've changed. But with this power, all I can do is fight. What? See, that's... That's just as I feel. The problem is that his sword is going to make him want to fight more and more. Apparently he still doesn't realize that. No, no, he, he does, kind of, since Salas and Naya and Raymay all told him. But apparently he doesn't know quite the extent, and like, yeah. for him is not a good thing. It's nothing. Here they come! There's a huge <laughs> crash at the door. They're trying to break it down. It won't take them long. After that, all the minions out there will come charging in. We should fight somewhere more open. Let's go! I kick the door open. Some of the minions try to rush, rush past me, but I cut them down. I charge out and stand in front of the door. This is... My breath catches when I see what's waiting for me out here. Oh, it's your friend. There's more than a dozen of them. Where were they all hiding? Unless... Reinforcements! If only it must have realized what we were up to! Probably. The others should have dealt with all the minions that were already here. They're using every last trick to destroy this tower, even if it means sacrificing these guys. I stab my swords into the floor. So, what are you going to do? I adjust my gloves. Minions stare at me warily, but keep their distance since I already killed a couple of them. That's easy. <clears throat> I'm going to fight them all off! That's what I thought. Last chance to run away! I cannot leave you, nor would I wish it. No, oh, he's talking to Ray. I thought he was talking to them. <laughs> that he was as well. No whining later, then. Guys, since when does Raym ever run? I take Aurora's two blades into my hands and use them to launch myself forward. Yeah! I charge straight into the crowd of minions, cutting a couple of them down before they can even counterattack. Not done yet! It doesn't matter how many there are. Aurora's power flows through my arms and fills my body. I've learned something from my battles so far. I haven't used anywhere near Aurora's full power yet. Maybe it's my lack of experience, or lack of training, or something else. But I think the biggest reason is that I didn't want to. I was fighting, but without a reason. Now, I have to destroy the enemies in front of me. As long as I'm focused on that, my Eternity Sword will give me the power. 
If I had all of Aurora's power, these minions wouldn't even be able to scratch me. It oh. might have enough power to destroy an entire world. Uh oh. I haven't even used a tenth of what Aurora is capable of. I've been holding back. Uh. If I didn't wish for power, Aurora wouldn't give it to me. I don't need the power to destroy a world. Yeah. In fact, I, until recently, I thought that if I didn't use this power, Aurora might just go away. No, I was hoping it would happen. But right now, it's the exact opposite. I want that power. I want the power to kill the enemies in front of me. I want the power to protect Naya. It's not enough! More! Give me more power! Give me the power to save this world! Using the power to destroy a world to save a world. I, know, I think he's still not needing the world destroying power. <laughs> yeah. Although well, if he's drawing on this much, all of his friends should probably sense him. Probably. Is everyone okay? Everyone got away? Everyone except for Nozomu and Naya. Nozomu. 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 Well... It doesn't mean that they won't escape. Only Naya can prevent the tower from collapsing. They told us to escape ahead of them. We had to make sure Naya and the others were safe too. Nia. Nozomu-kun is Naya. Nozomu is Naya, right? I feel okay. I don't think there are any more enemies. <laughs> but worried, huh? Of course! You knew the tower was falling apart and you ran away without them! Sarluska, you ran away just like they did. Do not blame them. I thought they were with us! Not very convincing when you're out here with safe. Well, I'm going back in, and I'm bringing them out with me. Happy? Too late to do anything. Just let him. If he wants to go, he can go. Calm down, Sol. The tower is shaking is only getting worse. If you go in now, you'll only get caught in it. Sorluska, 
So what? I'm just supposed to sit here and watch? If you're not going to save them, then I'll go by myself. Quit your bitching. Yada yada. Honestly. Same as always. Oh, it might not be in his own by himself for this thing. Apparently. I'm going to. I hate it, but he's right. We can't just stand here while they're still in danger. We're comrades. We should be at their sides even if we can do nothing else. That's right! What are friends for? I wonder. You? Why are you the only one who doesn't want to save them? We have to go! Everyone has things they can and can't do. Even if we go back into the tower, we can't keep it from collapsing. That's Naya's job. And you're saying we should just leave the two of them behind? It's not a matter of right or wrong. Naya is the only one who can save the tower. She knows that better than anybody. That's why she stayed. If we believe in them, we should just stay here and wait. I can't do that! I have to at least help Nozomu protect her! So, Luska, you're a good guy after all! What's that supposed to mean? Oh, there was that. Huh? Hold on, everyone. You finally sensing his power building? <laughs> well, see, this is probably all of them talking just before he builds up the power. Yeah, I guess. Uh, this is so like no, indi up no, no indication of the time frames. Well, if you think about it, this would be as soon as they got out. Is when this would start. Well, no, it looks it. like they're a damn good way from the tower, and they were like in the control chamber, which was quite the long elevator ride down, if I remember right, so... Probably took the stairs. Huh? <laughs> they probably took the stairs. Which would be even longer? Yeah, it's but a lot more running. <laughs> Isn't the shaking getting weaker? Okay, no, never mind. She's point. not sensing his power. You're right. The tower is shaking and settling. Guess Naya must be doing it. Meaning... Well then again, if they already know that he's there, sensing his power wouldn't really change anything unless they are sensitive to it or something. Did they manage to stop the collapse? Yes, she did it! Just like Salas said, instead of getting worked up, we just had to trust him and her and wait. So, 
タリアだってさっきまで青い顔してたじゃないかいや、yeah. well, 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 you <笑>なんとか世界は守られたな。It looks like the world's saved. ナイアたち、大丈夫かしら ?I hope Naya's okay. Raises her head from the console and looks around blearily. It's completely quiet now. The sound of the tower falling apart had filled the room before she con co connected to the system. But now it's too quiet. <laughs> Joy from keeping the tower from collapsing fills her, as well as relief from making it back safely. I thought that was it. I was the luck of a devil. She lets out a big sigh as she leans back in her chair. So, this is all the light bringers are capable of. A、eh, Mizomu? She speaks his name without even thinking about it. She assumes that he's still there with her, her companion to the end. But there's no response. Mizomu? Finally, realizes that he's not in the room. She pulls herself up, up out of the chair and looks around. Mizumu, where are you? Where are you hiding? She has no idea how long she's been connected to the system. Doesn't feel like it's been very long, but she can't be sure of that. You can come out now. We've saved the world. She suddenly remembers what she told him that he should escape because she'd keep the tower from collapsing on her own. And that if he was there when she came back, she wouldn't forgive him. <laughs> she grimaces at herself and the words she forgot. At the same time, She feels lonely. She was hoping in the corner of her heart that he'd stay. She told him to run, but she wanted to tell him to never leave her side. Her loneliness only gets worse as she realizes her true feelings.、Uh -huh. Uh -huh. The tower is wrapped in silence. Except for the faint sound of breathing on the other side of the door. Is someone there? She opens the door and steps outside. The first thing she sees is blood splattered across the floor. What? She follows the trail of blood to Nozomu. Leaning against the wall, his sword still clenched tight. Nozomu! How? Her words trail off. His body is covered in blood, and not from the minions he killed. Wounds cover him from head to foot. He's so injured that Naya thinks for a moment that he's already dead. Hey, you're okay. Guess you did it. Seeing him standing there, ragged and bloody, brings something welling up from deep inside Naya's heart. And she realizes what happened. 
ここでわらわを守っていてくれたのか望む一人で。Did you stay here and Yeah, it was a little dicey for a minute, but I kept you safe. <laughs> How could you be so reckless? I wanted to. She forgets herself and grabs him in her arms as tight as she can. Nozomu is barely able to stay up with her clinging to him. What do you mean? I told you to run away. I did not ask you to defend me by yourself. Oh. Okay. Guess I didn't need to do that then. I told you! If you were still here when I was finished, I would never forgive you! Sorry. Guess I broke my promise. But you know, when there's a reckless girl risking her life to save other people, I can't just turn my back on her, no matter what happens to me. <laughs> You're the one who is being reckless, idiot. Idiot, idiot. Ow! Stop it! I'm hurt there. Here. <laughs> That's your fault. This is your punishment for disobeying me. Okay, okay. Just stay like this a little longer. Don't hug me! I never gave you permission to do that! I know it's pathetic, but I can't stand up. Can you help me f for a little bit? Uh, I have to. No, I'm not just going to let you off with that. Ow! Stop it! Why did you fight until you were like this? You hate them that much? Answer me. You hate them that much? Answer me. I don't have to. You wouldn't understand anyway. So, what is it? Wait, where are you going? Hey! Where are you going? Memories of long ago fill Naya's mind, but she doesn't know where or when they're from. They were sleeping somewhere deep inside her, and Nozomu's bloody figure brought them back to the surface. <laughs> He's not like he was then. His eyes are gentle. He ignored me and threw himself into battle before. Even now he still wields his swords and cuts down all his enemies. Now, 
Oh, what drives them isn't the same. The man in front of me is Mizomu, not the man from my memories. started. No, no. Uh, yeah. Okay, we're good. Well, this is maybe a good enough spot if you wanted it to. It's only a little bit early, I guess. Huh? Uh, uh, I, I usually go for at least? at least 40 minutes. Well, this has been 40 minutes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, so, that was all... Interesting, I guess. <laughs> At least the disaster has been averted, so everything is safe. Uh, I was kind of expecting things to not go so well. I mean, how is this going to trigger the rest of the game? Well, hmm. some, well I, guess, I guess we'll find out. Maybe something else will happen uh, now that Avolia's plan failed. Okay. We'll find out about five or six episodes from now. <laughs> yeah, probably not the very next episode, although maybe. Never know what to expect, really. It's doubtful, though. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and have a good one.